At least 650 migrants are feared to have drowned after a boat capsized in the Mediterranean. That's a headline that's becoming increasingly familiar as more migrants try to make the journey across the Mediterranean from northern Africa. The Italian Coast Guard reports it saved close to 30 people and recovered as many bodies. The International Organization for Migration estimates more than 20,000 immigrants have reached the Italian coast since the start of 2015. 400 migrants are presumed dead after another capsize last week, and when you add to that a capsize in February that killed some 300 more, that brings the total for 2015 to at least 700, excluding Sunday's victims. The IOM is calling for broader support from the European Union to prevent further deaths, one position in an ongoing debate in Europe over what to do about the thousands of migrants crossing the Mediterranean. On the IOM side, the Pope, who last year called for solidarity with the migrants. We cannot allow the men Mediterranean to become a vast graveyard. Activists argue the human toll the EU's current policy of deterrence is taking is worse than allowing migrants into the continent. That policy has cut back on rescue efforts and has instead aimed to intercept migrant boats and return them to Africa. On the other side, opponents argue rescue efforts only encourage increased migration. Italy's Mare Nostrum rescue operation saved more than 150,000 immigrants before being cut last fall. Most of the migrant ships come from Libya, and observers say the regional instability there is a driving factor behind the migrants, whose numbers are only expected to increase as summer approaches. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.